We all have places that are meaning to us, where our families or our communities have experienced pain and joy. Many of us never learned our own history, and as Tracy Parker Kiyama likes to say, we were never meant to remember. And, you know, Bantanar is often seen as a Japanese-American story, but really it's an American story. It's also a story of racism. But it's also a story of resistance and collective action. So as we go today, we hope that you uh, remember that, that this is our story. As the bus leaves today in Little Tokyo, think about the people back in 1942 who had to pack up their belongings and carry only what they could uh, carry in their two hands, had to sell their businesses, leave their belongings, not knowing what to, uh, what's going to come. My grandfather, Bob Matsumoto, was sent to Tule Lake, and my grandmother, Jane Adachi, was sent to Gila River. We all take part in the Manzano pilgrimage for various reasons. Some of us are here to learn about the truth and history that we are seldom taught in class. Some of us are here to reconnect and to remember a family history. Family history that maybe readily was discussed, or for some of us, seldom talked about or not at all. Um, I know that I have people in my family that did not want to speak Japanese or study it ever again. There's a reason why I, as a younger sensei, don't know Japanese. The first generation really suffered a lot and were really truly marginalized from their own sense of self, their own sense of dignity, their own language, their own cultural practices. Who can remember being branded as spies? as saboteurs, as traitors to a country that you loved. And our crime, racial ancestry, justification was military necessity, or we call it national security. Manzano reminds us that those justifications were absolute lies. As the government's own attorneys said, unfortunately all that evidence was suppressed, it was altered, it was hidden from the Supreme Court. And the real reason for the incarceration was we simply didn't have time to separate the loyal from the disloyal. Because if you remember, in 1942, Japanese Americans had no allies. We were alone. And as a result, we suffered that civil rights travesty. But in 1988, on that inspired journey to redress, we found a voice. We regained that voice. And we were able to have the legacy, a responsibility, to speak out against injustice in the future. Back in 1969, simply remembering what happened was an act of resistance. Their journey to tell our story and to demand justice from our government helped to galvanize our community. The pilgrimages became a place to talk story. They had to tell the world of what happened here. They decided that they had to make sure our country would remember so that what occurred to their families and our families would never happen again. So Manzanar is a warning, it's an echo of history, it's a stark reminder of what unbridled power and racism can wreak on a democracy. So the pilgrimages were more than just about Manzanar. They were and they are today a place where our community can gather to support those who are facing essentially the same struggles. When you see the vicious attacks against Mexicans, Central Americans, Muslims and Arabs, LGBT and transgender community, the attacks on the election system, the attacks on the press. That's to think about. Because in 1942, no one stood up for our community. No one outside the Nikkei community demonstrated or protested the first time. There were no editorials. There were no protests. There were no vigils. No one stood on the floor of the Congress to say this is wrong. Today must be different. Today we must stand together against hate and not stand silent when white nationalists take to the streets of our cities. Our message is simple. Speak out, demand equal justice under the law for everyone, no matter who they are or where they come from. I mean, as, and, and, and to carry it on for 50 years. And I have to say, right, as a, as a Buddha here, man, doesn't it make you feel good that the Muslim sisters and brothers can be here, right? It was an indelible picture in my mind now 
when I saw the Muslim Americans that came to the pilgrimage praying with the monument in the background framed by the Sierra Nevada Mountains. That's the kind of sacred place and gathering place this is. The reason we come here truly is to say thank you. Thank you to the Japanese American community. You've been true brothers and sisters to us. Your resilience, your love, your embracing of the Muslim community have been unparalleled. And my dua, which is a supplication, which is a prayer for you all, is that this be the beginning of, a, of another journey for you all in terms of your understanding of how our, our journeys are all intertwined. So my liberation is tied to yours. We come from a history of Japanese Americans and Muslim Americans building together after 9-11, really committed to creating more of spaces like these where we can reflect about our interconnections um, that are cyclical and also in many ways can be opportunities for healing and resistance. Through various programs such as this one, we're really looking and examining and unearthing our true region's racial history and narratives that we perpetuate and sometimes are not accurate. When Congress created Manzanar National Historic Site almost 30 years ago, it was the culmination of more than two decades of very passionate work by very dedicated people. What begins with the efforts of a few becomes a legacy for all of us.